My name is Casey Jones. I've been uh, doing parkour and free running for about five years, and I've been doing martial arts tricking for about two and a half years. So parkour and free running, for those who don't know, it's pretty much going into an environment and expressing or challenging yourself using the obstacles around you. Um, it's really physically tasking and it's also mentally tasking because you have to be able to see what you can do with your environment like what can I do with this wall or what can I do with this rail so it's a very different kind of self-expression. A lot of times I get the question of why I would do this, uh, what possesses me to want to jump from a 15-foot drop. Everything is in society nowadays is so pushy and edgy and people are always judging you and whenever you do parkour or you trick it's just so distant from that because everyone in the community is so supportive and they want to teach you or um, just it's all about love and I don't mean to sound cheesy or whatever but it's just like it's so emotionally connected to like who we are that we love doing it every single second because it's this sort of passion and brotherhood that you get from it. It's honestly an entire lifestyle change and you never go back from it. We were at this tree spot at uh, Ward Park, which is a pretty popular spot here in Orlando. And this little kid walks up to us and is like, whoa, you guys are doing flips, it's so cool. And this kid's like this tall and I'm sitting down. So he's like maybe seven. And he just chucks a front flip, lands it perfectly. And then he's like, man, I really want to learn a back flip. So we're like, all right, we can spot you on it. This kid just, before we even can spot him for it, just chucks it in perfect back tucks. And we we're just so like, what? And it was just like the greatest moment to see someone so young, like sharing in what we do. Because I mean, I started whenever I just turned 11 and this kid's starting when he's seven. I mean, when I was younger, I had a pretty troubled uh, childhood, you know. My parents weren't really ever home, they were always working, so I didn't really get to see them a lot. And um, I mean, that affected me pretty deeply. And I got bullied throughout uh, elementary school, you know, and partial way through middle school until I started doing parkour. Um, it really, like, got to me, but it all made me who I am, and so, that's important and all of this was learned over a very long path and I think the moment that I sort of realized that was the night that I got put into a behavioral center for about a week and I was in there the second day and my mom came and visited me and the night that I went into the behavioral center my 16 year old cousin Austin um, shot himself over a girl and it hit me so hard. Everyone in my family was thinking that could have been Casey, you know? That could have been me who pulled the trigger. You have to enjoy life and be positive. And for me, that's what parkour is all about. I had a small birthday gathering because my parents pretty much said that, oh yeah, you're not having a 16th birthday uh, just because they don't have time or whatever. You know, I didn't really question it. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna call up some friends. And I scheduled this birthday gathering for a tricking. And David, actually, he flew here from Miami just to be at this gathering. And we had a great day. And then uh, just tricked all day. And it was really great, you know, just being with my friends. And I couldn't ask for anything else. I love all you guys very much. <laughs> Find your outlet. Parkour and tricking is just the most beneficial thing to me for it because if I need a family, I have my tricking and parkour family. Like I can go to any of those guys. I can go to Miami if I wanted to and stay the night at their houses for maybe two or three days. I know that like no matter where I'm at, like I always have a community around me. I have a family and that's so supportive for me. And it's just this big loving brotherhood between us all and sisterhood now because there's more girls getting into the sports, but like, it's just such a moving thing to see so many people all across the world so connected by this one thing. And for all of you out there like that have problems or even if you don't have problems, if you just need an outlet, 
go try something new. Try skateboarding, try BMXing, try wakeboarding, try all these things. If you don't have the money for it, find a way. You know, go mow lawns, go hustle on the street. I mean, don't sell drugs, but drugs are bad. <laughs> Just find a way, because there's always a way to make success happen. So if you want to go skateboard, find yourself a board. Or if you want to try parkour, just slip on a pair of shoes. I don't care what shoes, you can wear Vans. Just put them on and go out there and try it. Tricking, you don't need anything. You just need, you don't even need clothes. I mean, like you just go out into your grass and you try. Go find a way to do this because in life, if you don't try to find a way, you never will. You have to seek it. <laughs> 22 stories. Uh, I was out there. Anyways. <laughs>